Art students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again with another lesson. This is part five in the series of Let's Make a Comic Book Together. Now, if you are first, if this is your first time checking this out, this series that I'm doing now is about for those that want to make a comic book. They seriously want to make a comic book, but don't know how to do it. So I'm covering everything, all your details on making a comic book. I'm not going to leave this series and jump around like I did before. This is all about comic books. Every start from story to character to, to, to panels to drawing to everything. Yes, it's in this series. So as, as I said, this is part five to it. And this one talks a little bit more about doing story. Go back. If, if you are, as I said, if this is your first time you saw this the thumbnail and was interested and this is your first time clicking it out and checking out my video, go back and check the other three parts, four parts. This is part five. And then so you'll be uh, catch you up to where we are now. And in this one, we talk a little bit more about the uh, story and then we get into drawing. This is the first one getting into drawing and we're doing the torso. Now I've done a lot of, of other videos about torsos, but this is going to be detailed. But I thought this was going to be one part torso, but it's going to be the second part. No, this is the first part. There's going to be a second part to the torso because there's so much more. And when I finished it, I said, oh, I left this out, left that out. So we're going to do another part torso after this one, and then we're going to get into the female torso as well. So we're going to jump back from male to female to male to female so that you guys won't feel left out. So enough of that. Let's get on to the video. Welcome back. Let's go. All right. So we're going to have a quick anatomy lesson real quick. This is the skeletal structure. This is what we're going to be working with, or this is going to be underneath everything. So we're going to be doing the torso. So I want you to notice the torso here, just the top piece. That is more shaped like an egg versus an oval, but we're not going to use an egg shape. We're going to go ahead and use the oval shape or the circle shape. But a couple of key points I want to point out is this little mountain right here. That's important when we start drawing. And these collarbones, these two bones right here at the top, these are your collarbones. So just want to keep that in mind when we're drawing because these are important pieces to our lesson. All right, so let's go to the drawing table and start the drawing. All right, so let's start at the beginning. Not too long ago, someone wrote me and asked me, so should I start with my story or should I start my drawings? And I told him to start your story first. Now, before I would have said start your drawing first, but you always start your story first. First, Let me give you an example. Uh, and by the way, this is just something I'm just doing just to get myself warmed up back to drawing again. It's nothing to do with the lesson. It's just something for you to look at so that you won't see my hands flickering away. So, okay, give you an example. Say like your story is about you have your hero and your hero has to go to Mount Rushmore because somebody put a bomb in one of the president's noses of Mount Rushmore. So he has to go climb the mountain and disarm the bomb. So that's your story. So you start, a draw, you start drawing your character and so forth before you complete your story. So now you've drawn that and then you start right out your story. Then suddenly you find out, hey, well, it would be nice if the guy had an expert mountain climber to help him climb the mountain. Or if when he got to uh, Mount Rushmore inside, there was a female uh, that needed help. So it's better to write your story first then to run in some run into some surprises that you didn't know that you were going to have because you hadn't completed your story so complete your story that way you'll have all your backgrounds all your characters everything you need so when you start drawing you won't run into any surprises it's kind of like going to the grocery store without a grocery list you're going to miss something and you're going to have to run back to the grocery store so the first thing you want to do when you draw, we're getting into anatomy now, is we're going to start with the torso. Now, this is one of my old YouTube drawings. And um, you never start with your head. Never, never. I don't care who says that, what books, what video you read or heard or, or saw that says start with the head. Always start with your torso because you start with your head, your feet are going to, it's going to run off the page. It's just, it's just a natural thing. Your head is such a small part of the body that I can draw this whole thing without a head. And it, you know, the head wouldn't, it wouldn't make a difference if it doesn't have a head. This is important. The important part is the lean, the, the, the twist, the everything, and then you throw the head in there. So always start with your torso. So we're gonna get going with the torso now. All right, so 
this is something I came up with a long time ago, long time ago, to teach me how to draw the uh, torso. I call it the beetle because once I, once I figured it all out, it kind of looked like a beetle to me, so I call it the beetle. So you follow these steps, this 11 lines, and you will be able to draw a torso flawlessly. From now on, follow these 11 lines, and I guarantee you, money back guarantee. If you are not satisfied, call in, and I'll send you your money back. Follow these 11 lines. So here we go. First one, you want to do an oval or circle. It really doesn't matter if it's an oval or circle, but just like I showed you the egg shape on the, the, the um, skeleton like this, it's better to have the top wider than the bottom if you want to use that shape. But for now, we're just going to use an oval or circle, which whatever you can muster up. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, I can't draw a circle, or I can't draw an oval. Well, you're not trying to get a job drawing ovals. You're not trying to get a job drawing circles. That's just a shape that you start out with, and it's going to cover up. So if you say you can't draw an oval, you can't draw a circle, just write the word book, you know, a hundred times, you know, or write the number 100. 100 times or 1,000, 100 times, you'll learn that you can draw an oval or a circle. So stop saying to that yourself, I can't do this, I can't do this. You weren't born knowing how to drive a car or riding a bike or a skateboard. You practice. You got a skateboard, you didn't say, I can't ride that. I didn't say, Mom, I want a skateboard, I can't ride that, never mind. You got on it and you fell off, you got back on it, you fell off, you got back on it, you fell off. Drawing an oval, you won't fall off, you won't get hurt. So. Draw oval or circle. That's number one. Two, center line or your direction line. Whichever way this is turned, that's going to be your direction line. Three, right across the top, you're going to do it more like a small cross. You're going to leave some space here. You're going to leave some space there. And you can leave, you can bring it down a little lower, but not too, too low. Okay. So that's one, two, and I have these things numbered out. One, two, three, and four. Usually I'll just kind of like draw it myself. So four is going to be down here, like a double cross, or what is that uh, uh, called? A power line kind of thing. So the next one is you're going to have five. Five, you're going to have that mountain that I showed you that was under the bottom. A little piece there. You want to bring it up to this line. You don't want to have to test this line, but you want to have to bring it up close. So that's five. I should number these things. So six would be at this point where this line comes around and touches, and this line comes around and touches. You have this here, and when this line comes and touches this point here, you want to draw a line. You can draw either a straight line or a curved line. I usually draw a bit of a curved line like that. Same thing on the other side. With this point and this point, these two points touch, line like that. You just curve because it gives it more of a curved look. So what was that? All right, that was six. Now seven, you're going to draw a circle. You're going to bring this because remember the collarbone. The collarbones were right over top of the, the arm, the bone for the arm. So you want to draw a circle here and another circle there. Okay, so that was seven. What did I have for eight? Because now I know this by heart, so it's just like I keep doing it. I, I know how to do it. So let's do this. We got this line here, right here. We want to bring this up, right there. And that's the curvature of your chest. If you see, this is the chest. It's a little crooked, but this is the chest. So it's going to curve up to this right there. What was that? I, I lost my count of the number. Somebody shouted out. I'll have it down and it here. So when I say seven or eight, so right here, you're going to do uh, a V, the letter V, like that. This point here on out, that's your neck right there. And then you can go up just a little bit if you want to. And then from here on down, you want to go down like that. And there is your torso. The whole thing is done. If you follow these steps, you will create a torso every time. So, one thing, I will bring this in a little bit more. This is your waist, right? This is, you, can, you can judge how far you want your waist to come out. It does not have to follow this line, these two lines. This has to follow these lines here. 
right there. They have to follow that line. These two, your waist can be either larger or smaller. I just ended up putting it right there. So let's bring it in just a little bit more to give him a smaller waist. Right there. So now, if I did this from the side, again, oval. Okay, oval, circle, whichever one you want. Yes, as I said, it's going to be changed. You're going to either cover this with clothes or some kind of uniform or something or design. So don't really sweat the small stuff. First thing is that you always have that. Next is always going to be the direction line. What direction is this person going to be turned in? So let's go this way. And it could be the same way for this. If I did it this side, they're the same lines, except this is turned in a different direction. Next one, so one, two, three. Remember keeping some of that, three. Now, if you notice you have more, this is gonna turn out to be your shoulder, which is something I should have added to this. Because you, where your neck comes out at this point, you wanna bring that shoulder out more. You wanna bring that shoulder like that. Close to this ball here. Because this is just this little bit is too small for the shoulder, so the shoulder has to come out more. So I think that was another another eleven. Yeah, that was like the last line I put there. So we're gonna go on this again. Circle, direction line, cross. All right. So you have more shoulder over here than you do over there, which is fine. Bring your chest down as far as you you figure your, the person's chest is gonna be, all the way across. Then from here, this is the weird part. So you want to do that mountain. So start right here at that point and then curve down like that. Don't have it go way over here because that was just that small point. Let me show you. That is just this small piece right here, that mountain. So we're going to come here and you can adjust that. If, if it's over too far, once you get it, you, you can adjust that. So from here, you want to bring that up. I said I was going to count. I stopped counting again. So this curve here should be the same amount of curve right here. Again, the ball underneath this line. This is your, your collarbone. And since this is turned more to the side, you're going to have the whole ball here, whereas you have it cut off right there. Now from here, your chest comes up there into your, into your this is your delt right here. This is actually your delt muscle there and then you have that V again that V which from here to that point and here to that point then go up now this is something you're probably going to have to um, look at over and over again a pause pause the video and look at over and over again and then you want to come down here you basically want to as you come down almost straight down and then here you don't want to come straight down because you have a fat waist again so you want to bring it in to where you figure the person's waist is going to look good at right here. Now, we're not going to go further down than this because each video I'm going to do just a little piece. I want you to be able to get what I what I show you. That way, when we get to the next piece, <clears throat> you can connect them. You can connect them. So the next one, we're going to do the, the waist, the, the hips, and then we're going to do the arms. We're going to do all the separate so that I don't throw one whole thing at you and you start to try to to do it all, you know, put so much detail into it and you get lost. So we're going to do one little piece at a time. And then the next video after this, we're going to do the female torso. So that you just won't get stuck on, on the male torso. So again, we've got all our lines. So we want to get a little bit of shoulder here and then here. And basically, this is not a bad a height, but we want to bring it out here. Like that. Let's see if I brought the neck up a little bit more, I probably can bring it back. And then you put the head on it here. But we're going to get all into the head later. We just, I just want you guys to be able to do the torso. Now, the stomach as well. Like this, Since this is a curve, this is going to curve in and then back straight down to give it that more sucked in stomach uh, uh, look. So, yeah. And, and, and as I look, let's see this. Is more of a point right here. This is more like shaped like a heart. Shall we say this is going to be that point here because the chest comes up and then down into that delt right here and you have your arm like that. Same thing here. 
Now, right here, something I mentioned, you have this curve here. Bring that chest out a little bit more. Let me get my brush. So if I ink this, so this is the chest. It splits here, goes over to there. It also splits here. Now, instead of having it flat like that, you want to bring it out and up. Give that guy more of a, a rounded shape chest, that balloon shaped chest. Then you have this curve here and then down. You have this, this your, uh, your, your chest goes uh, into your delt like that, comes up here and it goes into your shoulder. Same thing here. This shoulder, and it's a point too, like that. And you have your collarbone. This is your collarbone right here. And it goes right into that, or right over that muscle. And you have your lats, which are going to come out here, your that, and then your, your waist. And as I say, as you get the basic shape, like you want to rough the basic shape, don't start trying to draw so perfect. Oh, I got to get this right. No, you want to, you want to stay loose. And that was the purpose of me drawing this. This is basically, this is from Ed Bennis. This is, a, 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 I think it was Avengers. There's a page from the, not Avengers. You should be shot for saying that. Um, Super Friends was about to come out. I was going to kick myself for saying Super Friends. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Oh my God, I can't believe I can't remember that team. You know it. So anyway, this is usually when I get stiff from trying to, um, from not drawing, I'll take one of my favorite artists, you know, drawing, and then I'll, I'll just go ahead and do it kind of like in my style. This is like, you know, almost line for line, but it's in my style. And then, you know, I get um, loose. So that's something you should always do before you start drawing. If you, you're drawing your, your uh, comic book, before you start drawing your, on your actual comic book paper, get you some paper, get, get you like a, a sketch pad, a cheap sketch pad with newsprint. I hate newsprint, but just get a cheap sketch pad and then just, just draw anything, what you see, draw your furniture or whatever, and just, just kind of like, just keep loose. That way when you, it's time to really draw, you're kind of like, you're warmed up. So for this, like I say, if this is a quick sketch here, I do the chest and I wasn't planning on doing this. I was trying to for time, press for time, because I don't want this to be a long video. Now, another thing is here, the way you have this at the, the actual uh, delt comes into the chest and that gives them a, a more of a, a stronger look. A lot of people don't do that, but I always do that. So if you have this, this, and this, you call it bone. But if you if you, you add that little line right here to separate that chest, it looks a little more developed than it does if you don't. So your lats would come down here, going into your waist. This would be here. Thumbs up, and your abs would be down in here. Of course, you have your neck. It's going to fall right here. Is that little pit between your uh, collarbone? So your neck falls right into that little pit, and it comes up like that. All right, now, if you did the top of this, let's do the top of this. If you turn this, and I have this little guy here, and I said I was going to show you all of this because it's good to, to see examples of what I'm saying. Let's see how my light is because my light is kind of weird. So you have this V. This guy's dirty. It's dirty. If you ever buy one of these, if you don't dress them, they get dirty, and it's hard to clean. So right here is a little dip. You have this point right here and that, that neck comes into a V. I'm going to draw on this guy just because maybe I'll try to stick him in the tub later. You have that little V. My lighting, my lighting sucks, man. It sucks. Then you have your collarbone. There's a freaking collarbone here. It comes across here like that and then it goes into the delt and then you have this little extra uh, divot muscle line like that. So everything I'm showing you, everything I'm showing you is real. So I didn't want to break this guy out yet. I wanted to show you guys how to do this. Now, if we do this from the top, now if you're looking down from the top or you draw a character who's he's leaning over, this collarbone, let's do this. Oval, center line. Now, instead of this collarbone being straight across like that, you're going to end up being more of a V like this. 
the more you bend your character over, the more it's going to turn into a, a, a V here, but this part is going to turn more into a diamond. Because right here where you have this, you have your neck, you have your, the hole for your neck. And it's always going to come at this point where it, the two collarbones meet. You're going to have this hole for your neck. Remember, anytime at the end of this collarbone, at the end of these collarbones are your delts, these two circles here. Now, let me keep going. Let me show you from the very top. Now, if you looked at this guy coming straight down, it's going to look like this. It's going to be more, it definitely more of an oval than the circle. It's going to look like this. You have your center line, of course, which is where your chest is going to go. Curve around here. And you're going to have that, that diamond right here inside of that oval, the diamond right here. Now, this is your this is your collarbone again. Collarbone, collarbone. Now your collarbone, where your collarbone ends, those delts begin. So it's gonna be like that. Because of the, the there are three, like three muscles do a U right here. Instead of a point, do a U because it comes around the body. It's like three muscles or three separations. It's gonna be one, two, Three, but don't worry about the muscles. Just get the the the, um, the shape right. Then remember, at this point is where the neck starts, or where you have your neck or your hole for your head. Then you have your right here. You have the shoulder muscle. You have. Let's see if I can get somewhere where my light is going to stay bright. You have this shoulder muscle right here. You see how this collarbone comes right over top of this delt then you have this piece right here this whole little slab of meat right here slab of meat yes that is going to be this part right here that is your shoulder well the whole thing is called your shoulder but just for the sake of it this piece right here is going to be your shoulder and that's it your collarbone comes right over top of that delt your chest comes up into your delt and goes into that little point that little uh point which starts your arm, so which is this. All right, and I can see you have that little slab of meat because that actually comes to the back of your neck. It comes around to the back of your neck. Uh, I'll draw a back, a back view in a second. So you have this, this, and you sometimes you have that little, that little upside down V right there, that little triangle for the muscle in your neck. But when you're drawing, um, from down, from up looking down, always try to draw one piece. If I'm bending this person over like so, or just say he's starting to run, he's leaning toward me starting to run, I usually do like the one piece like this, and then this comes up to your chest, other side of the chest, and then your delt like that. You already have this, then you have your, your mountain here, and then you put your arms where you want, wherever you want to put your arms here. And then, of course, that little chest piece, that little shoulder piece right there. But as long as you have these lines, you'll be all right. You start out with the beetle drawing, you will be all right. Let me get another piece of paper. I think I'm moving fast because I don't want this to go between um, past 30 minutes. Okay, so let's do the back again oval and this time you really you do want that egg shape you want it narrow narrower that is, that's always a hard word for me narrower like synthesizer I can only say that one time without messing up narrower narrower here than you do here you have your center line again and I'm going fast and then you have again your T for your back now you hit this part here, you want to bring this up. You want this part, instead of being round, you want it to be more of a diamond because this goes up into your neck. Let's see if you can see this. Bad lighting. This shape, and it goes right up into your neck. It's more like this. If I draw it, it's going to come up to the back of your neck. Here's the back of your head, and you're going to see the... How can I say that? Your neck is... 
your neck is round. Let's see. Let's see if I can I can do this because this wasn't something I was planning on doing. And this part comes here. Your shoulder comes up here like this. This is your shoulder. It comes around to the back of your neck. So your neck would be like this and this. It would have that kind of a shape to it all the way around. So you can see that. You see this little piece and you see the rest of your neck here. So that and then you have your head here. This is the bottom of your, your, your skull like that and then your ears like that. So you'll see this come up here like that. And then of course you have your, again, you have your delts. And then you have your back muscle. Now your delts come in like that. It comes, it, it angles down and then you have this V from your delt like that. Then you have another one for the lower back. The muscles for the lower back is like another, uh, it's like a little mountain. And then of course you have your shoulder blades, but we won't get into muscles, um, not quite yet. But we just want to show you the shapes that you're working with. You're doing your, your, your O, your, your T, your circles. And then this one, instead of being rounded like this, you're going to kind of come up more and then into the neck like that. And then there is also this little muscle. It's like a diamond here. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. It's like a diamond here. This is for when you're, you're seriously kind of ripped. That extra, extra muscle. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. As I said, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. And then you have this here. And the arm comes from underneath this piece. It kind of like tucks under that. And then you have your lats which comes down to your waist. So remember that, that circle, center line, it's your spine. These come down and into that V. Uh, and then you have that little mountain triangle there. And then, you know, if, and the way I looked at this, it was just like doing an angry face to do this and to do that. You know, it's just kind of like if I drew some eyes his, and this is his, his brow. He's looking. He's looking upset, and he's he's kind of frowning. That's the way I studied doing back muscles. And just let me do this the neck while I'm at it. The head, ear, and ear. So this is going to come up like that. And then part of this, you'll see some of the chin. Depending on you know how much he's turning, you might see some of the chin. All right, so did I did I draw this? Okay, as I said, let's get let's get to this real quick. Always oval, always. All these are all ovals, ovals or circles, whichever 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 uh, shape your hand draws. It's, it's going to be the same thing. Now this guy, he's leaning a little bit forward. So if I put his head here, he's leaning. This guy, this, as I said, the circle, the diamond becomes bigger the more he leans. Split it, chest, and then of course. This again, as I said, I'll do one point. It's just that this diamond here opens up. The more he leans, the more that diamond is going to open up. The more that head is going to be into this shape versus over top of it because your neck, remember your neck starts here. If you just remember where your connection points are, you'll be all right. So your neck comes out here. So his head would be right about here. Shoulders here, almost to his like jawbone. So here... Your neck would start, your head would be deeper into your shoulders because your, your top of your shoulders is going to be way up here because that's where, um, that's where what? Your collarbone is going to come back here. That's where your shoulders are. So your neck is going to be here. This is your neck. And of course, again, remembering the, the delts, drawing one piece, the chest. And the thing is, you'll see this, but the more you lean, the less of that you'll see here. And then your waist is going to come down here. You be the judge of your waist because your abs are, are here. And then it's going to be tucked in more here. It's going to be like closer together. 
So let me let me show you this. So let me show you if I can see if the light will cooperate. And this thing, his shoulder, sometimes his shoulder just drops down and his arm just twists whatever way. These are really nice figures, but I don't know why. But after a while, they just they just start doing what they want to do when they want to do. Okay, collarbone. Collarbone. Collarbone is here. Let's see if I can do a dark pencil. As I said, this thing gets dirty. This was a this was the um suntan color when I first bought it. It was a sun can. Now it's like the dirty alley color. This is it might it might come out better after it is it is edited because this light just fades in and out. The collarbone is straight right here when you're looking on straight. Now as you turn the character up, where's the light? Where's the light? I gotta get better lighting. You, you know that. It becomes more of a starts becoming more of a diamond. So the more the person leans down. Now you can see that kind of like diamond shape here. Because if this guy was running, let me pose him. Let's see if I can pose him real quick and then get you guys to see more like what I'm saying. Some kind of strange little pose. He's, let's say he's running or he's crouching over and he's coming to get you. You'll see that. The more you lean over, let's look at the stomach as well. You see that the stomach, the more you lean over, the more that stomach is going to disappear. And the more you will see that diamond shape here and the head. Remember, the neck is going to be start right there at that point. So the more you lean over, you'll start seeing some more. You'll start seeing more back into that. And then that, that front line, the direction line, it goes all the way across to the back too, so the spine and it just kind of separates almost separates like the chest. Let's see if I move this white paper, would it, do, would it do any good? It separates like the chest as well. Did you see how the chest separates here? And then you have that, as I said, that diamond that goes back into the delts and you see the three parts of the delt. You got the one, two, and the three, the three parts of the delt, which when it comes here, it just kind of makes a U and it cooks on and the delts actually come almost to the back. Well, it actually comes into the back. All right, so 28 minutes, I believe, maybe less with a little bit of editing. That, 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 and that. Let me draw a quick and show you what I was saying, how to put it all together. This is something you're going to have to kind of study each one. That's why I want to give you just a little bit, but it's basically just like putting a puzzle together. Each piece, you are separate. You put them all together, and you you it comes out perfect every time once you... Um, Get it right. Once you know the connection pieces and you draw it and you draw it and you draw it. And that's the only way to get it right is to do it again. Just like on a skateboard or a bicycle. How many times did you fall off but you jump back on it and you did it again. You wrote it again and you wrote it again. And then finally you mastered it. So let's just say if I'm going to do something. Here's my oval. And I'm going to have this guy like leaning down. And I have no idea what this is going to, it's, it's going to become. So this is going to be my my diamond here of course this is the diamond goes into your your delt this one I'm gonna bring, maybe I'll bring it back a little bit more so here's your chest so this remember this is like one piece is the chest is the other piece of the chest here you won't really see too much of the, um, the stomach if anything the way I have it here's your back I have still have no idea what I'm going to do with this so Let's just say my arm comes here, and this is the arm, this is the bicep, this is the other part of the forearm here, and however the fist is going to be, how's that fist going to be? Like that? I don't know. It's hard for me to draw, unless I see it in my head, I have to I have, to have a, um, a situation for, for me to draw. I just can't just draw positions just out of the blue. It has to be like, yeah, I have to have, you know, like he's jumping out of the fire or he's he's uh, falling down the steps or something like something to that point before I can actually get down and draw, you know, an actual position because then I see it in my head. I'm like, okay, how is he jumping out of that fire? Where's the fire? Um, you know, is it a big fire? Is it a small fire? Whatever. So we have that. And I'll ink this later. And we're going to have the hips somewhere we're gonna have the hips so this line it came down 
and I could either have the hips here or I can twist the hips here, but since I've turned that, let's just do this. Let's do it this way. And we'll get into hips, not in the next video, but video after that, because I want to do the, the female torso tomorrow, tomorrow, next video, which is, which will, I'll start filming it tomorrow because I'll, I'll have to edit this tonight and it'll probably be up in a day or so. His leg could be a little thicker, a little longer. The back and there's a foot here. And let's put the foot here just because of time, time reason. So, and I should have showed you more of the torso, but that's okay. But as I say, it starts with the diamond, not the diamond, the, the oval. And then because his head is on top, I'll start with the head. You won't really see any neck because you're almost looking straight down on it. Here is the, you'll have that part really. That's the chest part of the, um, the shoulder. Comes up into that U because that shoulder comes back into that back muscle. The chest is going to be here. Here goes all the way around to this. Other part of the back, bicep. And then his fist, however that fist is going to be. Bicep, tricep, forearm. I don't know how did I get the other fists here. Let's see, I see some of that. And as I said, the stomach is going to be like, if you see any of the stomach, it's going to be just a little bit right here. This is going down into that waist. And the leg, which you don't see. Got the leg. The calf starts here and it comes down out of there. And this leg, which would be, which would be a lot longer. This comes in like that. Okay, so yeah, as I say, you have to you have to know your so maximum size reads. I don't know why the film anyway. Yeah, know your torso. So I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this because my camera just told me my, my I had to reach my limit of filming for one section. But just remember the steps. What did I just do with the papers? The eleven steps. One more quick time, just because this might be out of order what I said, but before, start out with the, the front, because you can always draw your front character, you know, nice and tight and standing straight up, and then everything's good. So, one more quick time. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, uh, okay, that doesn't really count, but you can. And this one here, bring that V and then bring the neck up a little bit so you can connect your shoulders there. And your shoulders gonna come to the delt. And then you, you have your torso, plain and simple. So you wanna do the house, the legs, the arms, and then you, the head, and then you can see you have your, your, your man already. You know, the hard part is done. Legs and arms are just really, really, really simple. But follow these steps and then guarantee you, and then after you get it, you just kind of like fix it up a little bit. You know, you just, because I did a quick drawing, split the chest, chest rounds off. This comes in and then up, and then the stomach comes in, but we'll get into that more. But as I say, follow these quick steps. You'll always get a torso that looks right. This is really rough because I did it really quick because I don't want to end this video. So that's going to be it for the male torso. If, if there's anything else I, I missed, I will cover it a little bit in the next video. For, so the next one is we're going to do like the female torso and then go from there. As I say, each body part would just do a little part at a time. That way you don't get too confused and your brain doesn't like explode from um, too much knowledge overload. So I'm just trying to put these together so I can make a, maybe an interesting screenshot so that you can 
see what I'm talking about. All right, so anyway, that's it in this video. No rambling for me. That's my promise in 2020. No rambling. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, give, give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up and hit the notification bell because how would you know if I put one up if you don't get notified? Yeah, so notification bell and of course subscribe and tell a friend. All right, I'll see you guys later. Class is over.